Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We've entered the Palisade Bank. It's time to try to crack the vaults and see what treasures we can find. It's gonna be tough. There's a lot of people and there's a lot of cameras. Just on the mini-map alone, right now there's six separate cameras. I wonder if I can find a way to disable them. Yeah, there's gotta be a security room, but the problem's gonna be actually finding it. Also, I'm assuming if I try to hack into a keypad while a camera's looking at me, I'm assuming the camera's probably gonna trigger. Not actually sure, though. Could be an important thing to test. At some point. Account manager. <laughs> actually, hmm. Let's test it right now. There's only civilians looking at me. I don't think they'll care. So only a camera, maybe, will see me. Security rating one, that's nothing. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Oh. Some someone says something. Oh, they did. Huh. I don't know. There's no way they could have seen me, because they just stay right there. They're right around the corner, yeah. So I'm not sure how they knew about me. The camera didn't trigger. <laughs> Just casually checking their gun. But uh, yeah, hacking keypad's gonna be a little bit tricky. So where are we allowed to go? I mean, we don't have to hack into stuff to get some things. After all, we have about three passcodes to some lockboxes. Sweet, executive boardroom. I see a passcode. Ivana, I apologize for not telling you sooner. Yes, the code to my office was changed after the recent unpleasantness with Bartos. It's now 0831. Please tell everyone I'm running late because of how hard it is getting in and out of the city now that Ruzika's station is offline. Thank you. Oh, referencing media account files for one of our new clients, Nicholas. Okay. Oh, this is such a cute little computer. Look at it. It's a netbook. What is this? Ripper's Threat Training. Access code violation, sad face. Client data, defenses, lava wall. Safety account, rippers access denied, smiley face. Client support, account number, something, something. <laughs> That's cute. No vent is safe for me. Oh. Restricted zone. Oh, there's security in here. Hmm. Whoa, what is that? That's a security drone, I think. I've never seen one of those. Like, it's a security defense robot. But not one that, you know, flight, not like a drone, but a ground one. Elevator shaft. Look at all those lasers down there. It's another drone down there. I'm not sure what's down there for me. Let's see where this goes, though.
Ooh. Someone's office. And their computer's unlocked. Nobody there. We're on level eight. <laughs> Look at all these different levels. There's nine levels. Now, I don't think those correspond to floors exactly. You know, like level six might be like a catwalk for level five, that sort of thing. Yeah, a lot of these I think are related to like a stairwell or maybe the elevator shaft. Still, this place is huge. Hmm. They really do love that, like, bare wood aesthetic. Concrete and bare wood. E.G. Switch. I don't know what that means. I'm going to save. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, let's not leave that on. Instantly start to get spotted. Hmm. Oh, this is just the, the very, yeah, that's the very front. I tried to hack that panel over there when I got spotted. They have nothing in their drawers? Oh, a little bit of money. 23. Mm, let's see. Oh, this is a long chain. <clears throat> Dear Valued Palisade Property Bank customer, by this letter we inform you that our bank is switching to newest transactions sec security standards. What the hell? Complete the form H2. Is, is this a spam mail? Dominic, have you seen this? I got it from Romanic, and he got it from one of our clients. This is a problem. How'd they get our client list? That's supposed to be impossible. We need to get on this right now. We can't afford any more security problems. Ah, someone got the client list and they're sending out phishing emails. Oh, and it was sent to all clients. That's bad. Wait, we don't have an all clients mailing list. This looks like it might be a targeted phishing scam sent to only a few clients that were maybe too public about their having an account with us. It's not very elegant either. I mean, home profit secrets? All our clients are filthy rich. Why would any of them fall for this? Tell Romanik to send all our clients a warning about this kind of thing. I'll do some digging in the logs just to make sure we haven't actually been breached. All our clients are rich? Why would any of them fall for this? Uh, what, you think rich people are smart? Actually, it doesn't even necessarily have to do with being smart. They might just be super tech ignorant or... I don't... well, I don't know. Still, some of them will fall for it. From... Brad one Calvin. How can you all sit in your ivory tower and serve the masters? These companies you protect are not people. Why do you let them hide their secrets? You can't keep this up. We are the millions. We'll bring down the corporatocracy. We'll bring down your money-centric system. Eternal growth is a fallacy built on the backs of the poor and serving only the rich. It is a finite world. There must be the concept of enough. Get ready for the change. To all employees, Bartas Modek has taken a sudden extended leave of absence. We wish him the best and look forward to his eventual return. The tasks of executive services manager will be handled internally until his replacement can be hired. Hmm. Messenger logs. Oh no, that's not a messenger log. That's a that's a chat. Tarvas security. I have a new tech waiting to have a look at the s servers. Oh, is that gonna make them open the servers, wherever the servers are? We need the security shut down so we can access the third floor server room. Mr. Oshiro approved this. Um. Hmm.
If I say yes, it, are they gonna know? Yes? Of course. I'll just need your ID number to confirm the shutdown. Shit, do I have it? Uh... I don't. Can I find it? Somehow? Where would I find it? I mean, it's not in this office. If it's not in this office, who the hell knows where it could be? I mean, saying hurry or, you know, just shut it down, that's an order. There's no way that would work. I'm just gonna say never mind. Have a nice day. You too. Did read all the emails, right? Yep. And there's nothing else in here. Nope. Okay. Well, it's good to know that's there. What's that thing? I don't know what it is, but I can't touch it. I don't want to get up there, but can't reach it. Let's go down. Hope I'm not going to get zapped here at the bottom. Ah, good. What is that? Is that a security locked vent? I didn't know that was a thing. Cable duct door. Oh, I can't even hack it. Hmm. I guess some computer somewhere opens it. Damn. So... That's a circ- is that the circuit breaker in there? I can't tell. I think it is. I think I'm gonna run for it. Let's take some painkillers, I got a bunch. one's unlocked, though. Level 1, executive saves. All oh, right, we went down. We're in the basement now, I guess. <laughs> There's a photocopier in the way. <gasps> no! Yeah, I have no Praxis. It would take one Praxis point to get that heavy lifting thing. I am pretty close to the next Praxis, though. Only about a thousand XP. Hmm. Nobody too close. I could try another explosive, but I really don't want to use heavy explosives inside of a friggin' bank. Or do I? I changed my mind. I do. Wait a minute. How about we try the frag mine? Can I place it? Like... Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, yeah, so it can go on... on, uh, the vertical surfaces. It's kind of... in it? I guess that's fine? I'm gonna try to shoot it, though. Shit. Hey, do you have a battle rifle? Do I have any ammo? Yeah. People gonna hear this? Eh. 
Ah, oh, this way. Holy crap, that worked really well. Uh, it doesn't say panicking. Nobody seems to be panicking. No, that worked great. Okay, so I think those work a little bit better than than uh, frag grenades for moving heavy objects. Maybe. It's, I suppose it's also possible this thing's just lighter than the other thing I tried to blow up with a frag grenade before to move. Maybe that's it. It also could be that it's not more powerful, but it's more of a directionality thing. Because a frag grenade is kind of like on the ground, it might be in a bad place, but the mine was literally directly on the photocopier. So that could be it too, but either way, yeah, fragment mines, definitely good to keep around. Very useful. Um, Dom, I want to clear out um, Wodex personal safe and reset it. Can you give me a temp number ASAP? So he's not coming back then. Code's been reset to 6477. Is his computer say staying or... Okay, so we have yet another safe password. <gasps> Palisade elevator keycard. Nice. Use to access the elevator. Yep. Makes sense. Checks out. Welsh whiskey. I'll take it just in case it's super fancy. I don't know, so far no alcohol I've sold is actually worth much of anything. Palisade clients and services. Uh, it's just like an advertising pamphlet. We protect your privacy, blah blah blah. Our client list includes the Vatican, the British royal family, thousands of companies, over 200 world leaders, and thousands of celebrities. Security 3. Yeah, this is Wodex place. Should we toggle this for a second? <laughs> no. <laughs> because everybody can see us. If I trigger this thing, I wonder if it'll trigger an actual alarm rather than just a lockout. Given whether that we're in such a high security area. I don't know. Let's get a look at what we have to work with. Like, what is this clearance? What does that do? But yeah, spam will buy me a little bit of time. Does have a capture detection chance of 100% though. But uh, alright, so it's gonna come from here and here and then get me. I need to go that way anyway, so I can fortify it along the way. And I also need to simultaneously go this way. And then at any point, I can also just capture the spam just to buy me a little bit of time. So let's start with going this way. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Wow, that thing's slower than I thought. I've actually got a lot of time. Access granted. Mr. Wodek, last time I visited my safe, I found foliage, leaves to be exact, exact in the executive safe room. <laughs> what? As remarkable as this is, your first inclination might be to suggest the leaves in question were brought in via another client's footwear, say, stuck to the soles of their shoes. Anticipating your expected refutation, I had the leaves professionally examined by friends of a professional nature within the field of forensic and was assured that the leaves were never stepped on. Could it be, sir, that there is access to the bank from the exterior, allowing all kinds of wildlife to wander within? This would be an astonishing oversight if true and leaves me wondering how secure your bank really is. Please tell me the air conditioning and ventilation areas are secure. You promise your clients the highest level of security, yet my unwanted discovery is hardly boosting my confidence in such claims. I await your reply and expect it quickly. 
forensically examined leaves. Oh, it's the same. Yeah, same thing sent to everybody. You make me sick. Ivory Tower, etc., etc. Uh, this is simply a short message to confirm that everything has been validated and is ready for you. We have already sent you a second client card. Okay. Thank you for meeting with me last week. It was very informative. We end up doing so much telebusiness these days. It's nice to finally put a face to the name. I have received the second client card. Thank you for that as well. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, we're not... It looks like we're not talking with the security system, though. We're talking with an actual human being. But yeah, they... I thought you were on leave. Um... So that's what they decided to call it. I'm just cleaning out my desk. Oh. I see. Sad face. Oh. I should let you get back to what you're doing then. That's so sad. Travel permit. What's that gonna do? Um. So Dominic, while I have you here, I can't find my travel permit anywhere. Janicek mentioned he secured some of my paperwork in the Executive Vault B hidden room. Could she give me the new code for the safe? Have you asked him about this? Hmm, bluff or evade? The problem with talking over a messenger thing is I can't use my uh, augment for social things to kind of know what to do. Yes, he said I should check with you. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Sometimes he really gets on my nerves. By the way, the way they, the way they treated you was just not right. Thanks. I appreciate it. The code is 1110. Take care of yourself, Mr. Wodek. Man, I am doing some work in here. I'm not even sure what I've done at this point. I still need the, the like, passcode for the main person so that I can unlock the server rooms on level 3. But I have an elevator keycard. Um, tons of passwords for lockboxes. And they just gave me a travel permit for something, Executive Suite B or something like that. So we have stuff, I'm just not exactly sure where to go. I think we've hit a dead end here, though. So, yeah, I think we just need to go back up and go out and just see what other areas I can find. Right. I think so. Unless I could find a way up there. Nah, not even close. I'd have to stack a million boxes. Oh, we do actually have here. Yeah, there's a vent here. Looks like a break room. There is a guard inside, though. Ah, the windows. You can see through them. Can I make them dark? Is there? Yeah, there's a switch over there, actually. In yet another augmented terror attack. 251 passengers aboard Sista Airlines Flight 451 were killed when an augmented passenger hmm. broke into the flight's cockpit and ruthlessly butchered its flight crew. Details recovered from oh, that is a very inconvenient place to be. Suggest that the man may have been separate or orientation, rather. August. Please face a different way. That horrible day two years ago when augmented people all over the world flew into a psychotic killing spree, causing the greatest loss of life in recent history. Really? Damn. They have some keen eyesight. 
Okay, I guess we super have to close the blinds before we do anything. I think I heard a noise. <gasps> Don't think you should maybe peek your head in or anything? Okay. Clear. Taking up post. Okay, they're suspicious, which makes sense. Take you up here. Ah, I can't, can I? All right. I'll just move him behind you. So where are we in the bank exactly? Ah, so yeah, we were in the security supervisor's place before. We've already been in the boardroom because you can just freely access that. Now we're in security, so maybe I can shut off cameras and things. In the hands of irresponsible journalists, it can be. Underground websites and radio stations. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, somebody's starting to see me through that little window above the door. Did I loot them? No, I didn't. You were probably wondering why you were locked out of the second floor security room. Because Monday, Barabas has updated all the sec codes for the weekly rotation. New code is blah blah blah. Now you're not locked out of the second floor security room. Have a good week. Mr. Janicek, I've regenerated all employee identification codes as requested. Your new code! Yes! Oh, that is great. New ID cards are also being created for all employees. Also, the electronic security audit was a success. All systems functioning at peak. There's been an upsurge in cyber attacks, but nothing has been able to breach the lava wall. Or lava well, rather. I do have a couple of suggestions I would like to discuss with you and Mr. Oshiro when he gets back. I'll detail all of this in my weekly report. Ah, oh, this is so satisfying. And I've got the password for it. Is, is everything caps? No, it's not all caps. It's probably case sensitive, right? KLMVP9951. Yes! Haha! <laughs> I just hope the people, like the guards out there, don't find it suspicious when all the cameras turn off. Just in case they do, let's save. I'm pretty sure they won't. That would kind of negate the point of being able to do this, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay, so I'm sure this isn't all the cameras in the place. There's obviously more than four, but at least it's some of them. Robot domination required for that. Turret domination, yeah. Can't touch him. Um. Wait, what? Oh, I was confused. This said camera one. I was confused why it's like a laser grid and a camera, but no, this is the camera is showing you the laser grid. Although the camera doesn't actually seem to be because I don't see a laser grid, but whatever, it's off. Okay, I'm going to head back to Janicek's office. Okay. What? Oh, no. You only have one chance to do the chat? It's not there anymore. Oh, that sucks. Dang. Okay, let's scout out more of this kind of lobby and first floor. So yeah, this is Janicek's office from the outside. I am curious if I have the password for this. Just want to check real quick. I do. N 
and hmm according to the map this is not a restricted zone oh shit <laughs> even the civilians freak out wow okay huh they're really paying attention that closely apparently even the civilians are like little guards out of curiosity, if I throw an object down, will it distract civilians? I don't think so, because they're not searching. Or on guard. No, that did, <laughs> did absolutely nothing. Hmm. Let's look around for vents, perhaps. <laughs> trying to talk to them, but they don't want to talk. No entry here, sir. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, level three offices. I'm the executive officer in charge of security for an entire multinational conglomerate. You do not want to get in my face. I only said hi. Yes, sub-level security room has our up-to-date security passwords. Good. Haven't heard from mezzanine level or the corporate vault basement yet. Can you get confirmation from IT? I could, but they would only be able to confirm sending out the codes. Doesn't protocol include that each hub acknowledge receiving security updates? In a perfect world, everyone would follow procedures to the letter. But this isn't a perfect world. I'll see what I can find out. It's an Adam Jensen world. Yeah, this is super cool looking. Once again, that combination of the concrete in the just bare wood but it's not a solid block of concrete it's cool yep so executive saves a and b so i think i have the passcode to safes b right i think i just got given that hmm. oh that's where i've already been that security yeah and that would be where that is. Do not want that thing to wake from its slumber. I'm sorry, sir. The VIP vaults are only accessed by appointment. And there are no appointments scheduled. You need an appointment to access your own vault? For the corporate vaults, yes. This allows time for preloading your container into the viewing area. You also need your personalized keycard. Thanks for the information. Hmm. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to head down the stairs to the executive safes. <laughs>